just a quick correction on the first record I actually did two swipes you'll hear me say I did one but I forgot until I was re-watching it and doing voiceover all right guys today I'm going to be trying the swipe method on a few different vinyl records that I have left over as scrap that I'm going to turn into a cupcake tier um, the final product that you just saw I've only resined the top tier so later on down the line you'll be able to see the difference and when they are resin and when they are not uh, so let's get started anyway I've mixed my colors uh, they're all the right consistency pretty much if you look right here they should drip just about identical to that and I will give you a heads up that I started trying to be patient with it and using one of the stir sticks to actually apply the acrylic paint but that's not really my style so you'll see that I immediately start pouring it on you can do it whatever way makes you happy but for me I'm more of just a I enjoy the pouring so that's what I do you'll see this last not very long at all but basically with the swipe method you'll see in the other records that I'm going to do in this video um, there's different ways you can do it for the first one I'm just going to do one swipe and I basically had a pretty much neat set of lines going down the record for this little one by the way this one is an acetate record as well as it's been resin before and then painted over so that is why it is so sturdy looking And here goes the pouring. It doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, I like the messy effect a little bit because then you get the drips and drops here and there. And you can see that that turquoise is already selling some against that purple. I've only done the swipe method once or twice before, so this is pretty much still a new thing for me. So you're going to just basically cover the surface of the canvas or whatever substrate you're using until it is completely covered with paint, and then we're going to show you how to swipe it. In this video, the first record, as I said before, I'll do one swipe. The second one, I'm going to do two swipes. And then on the third one, I'm going to do just a bunch of different techniques. I'm going to do a couple swipes. Um, the flip cup turn thing that I like to do. Basically, I was saving myself because the third one was not turning out the way I wanted it to. I think I got a little bit rushed, which... Patience is probably my worst character fall. Um, but anyway, this was just a fun little project that I figured I'd show you guys in case you guys have been wondering how to do the swipe method and different ways you can do it. So we're done covering the record with paint. I'm going to grab, it's basically just a piece of plastic. I'm going to let it touch the edge, lay it down just a little bit. You can see where it grabs just a bit and pull. And immediately you can see action happening but as you can see oh I did two swipes on this one just kidding the reason I ended up doing that was because you if you could see when it happened that I pulled too much of the paint away from the record um, and that wouldn't have worked out too well And then you're going to torch it. Watch it come alive. So for this one, it was pretty on the fly of an idea. So I realized I had so much paint on the bottom that I didn't want to waste it. So I grabbed another 
old record that I was going to use for a project and just smeared it on there it's kind of therapeutic actually <laughs> actually that was really pretty to begin with and I almost considered leaving it but I was trying to make these matching pieces so that I could use them as a cupcake tier so I had to continue with the same color scheme and so on this one, I did not do the straight lines. As you can tell, I just kind of went in an abstract type of design. And we're just going to roll with that. As earlier stated, this is one of my first few times doing this. So I will note again that this was much more of an experimental pour than something that was finalized. It was definitely off the top of my head. Alright, so anyway, we are just going to continue to cover the record until it is completely covered. As you can see, we already have some cell action going on. I did, and I forgot to mention, I did mix about two drops of silicone per cups of paint. Now, there was a lot of paint in these cups almost a th three-fourths of the way full except for the pink one right there that one I had the least amount of some people wipe their plastic or whatever they use to swipe off like I said I don't have very much patience sometimes and I was doing this while kids were playing in the background, so I chose not to. I don't feel like it had any negative effect at all. In fact, I think this one turned out really well. And it's super cool how the torch brings out so much more life to the painting. So if you're wondering if a torch is a must-have, yes, it is. And I did decide to add a little bit more on that section because I wasn't getting a lot of action um, towards the bottom, which is what is really great about the whole swipe or basically any of the pourings that you can do is that you can mix and match. You know, basically it's just go with the flow. If you're someone who doesn't like to always follow directions, this is a wonderful painting technique for you. And on this one, I did have to do the two swipes. added a little bit of the drip from the bottom just to make the bottom of that record come alive a little bit more and just a side note a lot of things will happen throughout the drying process in the next at least hour you'll see a lot more cells popping out and all kinds of things the paint really comes alive. And why not do another one? This was just one I had left over from a client that I've been working with for some cupcake tears, towers, whatever. Make sure you get them on whatever stand you're using level or else you'll have a big mess. You don't want paint sliding off while it's drying. You don't want, yeah, you just don't want it. And again, I'm just gonna randomly pour. Especially while using a circle for a base, I feel like that the straight lines are really cool and I like the way it drapes that top color across, but when you're using a circle as a canvas, I think that I'm beginning to find that I prefer to just kind of place paint anywhere. 
because I had not planned to do three of these from the very beginning, I started running out of the pink. But it all works out in the end. Okay, for this record, I am not going to cover the entire record. Um, a side note here is that the art of art is knowing when to stop. That is something that I struggle with very hardcore. Um, you'll see I actually love the first swipe. I do not know why I did not leave it alone, but I didn't. I wanted to try out some different techniques and stuff, and like I said, this was just kind of like a practice thing for me. But learn from my mistakes. Okay, so because I could not leave well enough alone, I'm going to add a little bit more chaos to it. At the end of the day, the end result was really pretty. Um, so, you know, the, the art of these videos or the fun part of these videos is that you guys can learn from my mistakes, vice versa. And it's just sharing, you know, the way different people view different pieces of art I am by no means a professional artist I definitely enjoy the pouring techniques I absolutely love everything that has to do with resin I have grown in my trade in the past few months still have a lot of learning to do so if you have any constructive criticism or any tips for me, I am very open to them. In fact, I welcome them and appreciate them. Just as much as I want to help everyone else out, I would also appreciate any kind of tips or tricks or advice from you guys as well. So basically all I'm doing is just trying to move the paint, trying to achieve a different effect. And some more. And we're going to torch it to try to pop out some more cells. Alright guys, so basically we're done here. I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, as I said before, if you have any comments, leave them for me down below. Also, please like this video if you like it and subscribe to my channel so that I can keep making more videos. One last thing, if anybody has any requests of anything they want me to do to show you any special techniques or something I haven't already done, just let me know in the comments below.